Hey everybody, it's Bill DeRosa here from Talking Finger, and today we're going to go over Facebook's new personal profile called Timeline. So we're going to give a brief overview of some of the functionality and some of the settings and things like that as far as posting and where to find things on your, your profile here. And in the next video, which I suggest you watch as well before you start doing anything, is we'll go through some of the security settings and privacy. That way you can uh, feel safe of what you're going to be posting on here because it's a little confusing if you're not used to the format and if you've never used lists before, Facebook has made it a little easier here to use lists to start um, putting people and pages and such into categories so you know who you're sharing with at what time. So let's just start right here. Um, new feature here, which is probably the most obvious one, is the what's called the cover photograph. You still have your basic edit profile picture here, um, but this gives Facebook a lot more of a personalization for yourself. So you can get pretty creative. You know, see me wakeboarding here, driving a boat over here, but I've seen ones where people have sushi here and someone's holding chopsticks and the chopsticks are gone on either side of the picture, things like that. So it's pretty cool. Why is it called timeline? Well, you'll see that the profile is now broken down basically into a timeline, starting from here and you'll see there's also a line that runs up the middle for all your posts here. What's cool about this is on your own profile or any profile you're going to visit, you can go back in time to as much as they want to fill in here. Now, when you first get your personal profile, it's going to end at the date that you started using Facebook. So for some of you, it'll be 2009, 876, etc., like that. This personal profile I have was created in 2010, and I actually added 2004 and, and, and uh, born here. But um, it'll stop where you join Facebook and everything else you add. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But like I said, it's a quick, easy way to go access in people's profile what they did in certain years. So, And it's in reverse chronological order. So you'll see December 28th, 2010. So these are the posts I made in 2010 starting there. Now what's really cool is you can add events on here. I'm going to show you again what that, how you do that. But... I click on 2004 and this is an event I actually added. So it's the, when I got married over here. And you can see even when you're born. Now obviously it wasn't on Facebook uh, when I was born, but you can add images and such like that to it, which is pretty neat. So now how do you add these life events or how do you add on to your timeline right here? Well, it's really easy. Your status report as usual works as it always has. You post your pictures up to your wall, things like that. What Facebook added were these cool little icons here, work and education, family, living, health, milestones, experiences, and each one, if you click on it, will give you a couple of ideas of what each of these categories are for. So if you can find something to default, that's great. If not, at the bottom of every single one is other life event. Simply click there. And now you have a chance to add whatever you want for whatever date. So I'm just going to make one up here. So a lion in my yard. Okay. Location is up to you. You can put in a town. You know, if I put in Aspen, Colorado, for example, it gives me Aspen, Colorado here. Now it's it's located. Now who with? Up to you. Uh, it's obviously it's just tagging people. Um, so I can say I could sort with uh, Eric Renato here. The date is the important part here. That's going to determine where it falls on the timeline. If you're only going back a month or two, you can use this little handy thing. If you're going back further than that, say that we this was in 2000 here. And we'll say it was September 4th, 2000. Um, it's better off just to type it into that space. And then you can put a story if you want. Now, you can select a photo from your photo gallery, any pictures that you have on Facebook. So if you already have pictures of friends or family or, or anything that happened and it's already on Facebook, simply click here and you can pick from your entire photo gallery on Facebook. Or you can simply upload a new photo. So you might not have a baby picture like you know I saw my born one. You might not have a baby picture, so you might want to just upload one. In this case, is the picture of the lion I saw in my yard. Now while that's uploading, this feature has always been here, but a lot of people didn't utilize it. Um, this is basically lists. And we're going to get into that in part two of the video. But basically, this is who you want to show this post to or you, who you want to exclude people from seeing. Uh, and we'll get into that in part two, which I strongly suggest you watch part two before you start filling in this timeline, just so you understand exactly who you're sharing things with. Some of the privacy settings have changed a little bit, so you need to be a little bit wary. For now, I'm going to leave it public because it's something that I don't care about sharing with the public. Click save. 
takes a couple of seconds to upload because of an image and such like that. All right. Now, what ends up happening is it doesn't show up right away. If you hit refresh or, you know, if you go away from this page and come back, it will pop up now. And you'll see 2000. So if I click on 2000, and there it is. Now, what you can do with some of your stories in your timeline here is you can actually feature stories. So you see how these stories here or these posts are all small. If you really wanted to blow something up because it's important to you or it has a good visual, now you'll notice this image is actually chopped off. What you could do is a little star in each one here, all right? And it says feature on timeline. Click there. You'll see it actually blows that post up to take up more basically real estate on your page. So you can kind of do that with any of them. Feature on timeline. And now it gives a kind of like a priority status. Now how you navigate through your profile or how you change some of the things of the info. It used to say edit profile up here. It's now called update info. This is basically where you edit your profile. Simply click there. And of course, whatever you want to add, subtract, everything right here. And again, there are privacy settings and it's going to have to do with the lists that you create, which again, we'll show in part two. But everything that you share on Facebook as far as your personal life is right here, okay? So again, we'll get into this in part two. Another new feature here that's pretty neat, I think, is view activity. Now, only you can see this view activity. It's your private log of everything you've done on Facebook. Click here. Basically, anything you've ever done on Facebook, for the most part, is going to be here. Okay? You can select all. This is for today. You can go back. Here's August. So, here's everything I did in August, basically. Now, you can further break this down by searching for specific elements. In other words, if you know you posted up a cool photo at some point and you want to go see when you did it or whatever, click Photos and then select the date again. So we'll go back to June. So now, Photos in June, these are all the photos that I've uploaded in June. Okay? Go back to All. Now, if you close that, it also goes back to the year. Okay? You can select this, click Down and starting in reverse chronological order again November okay and again you can just break it down to whatever you want over here All right? but it's a nice snapshot of being able to do it now the cool thing is also is if you come across something that you want to show on the timeline okay you would just simply click here or if you wanted to hide it from the timeline you would click it here okay another new feature that I think is pretty cool is, is the ticker over here now, what the ticker is, it's basically like a Twitter feed or a real-time feed. Everything that happens in your life as far as the people who you're connected with, um, pages you're connected with, this happens in real time and it's, it's right up to the second. I've actually been finding myself using this more than the home feed because it's pretty much everything. And if you scroll down, you just keep going and going. It keeps reloading and it basically just keeps reloading forever. So if you want to see what was going on in your world for the last hour or two here, this is a great way to do it. And the cool thing is if you just like hover over something, okay, let me just hover over this right here, it actually opens up a window here. And now you can just go back here. You can actually comment or engage right here without even having to leave your profile. So if you're chatting with friends and stuff like that, and you just want to make a comment on something, you don't have to like jump out of this page or jump at anywhere. You can just do it right here. So that's your brief introduction to Facebook's new personal profile called Timeline. If you, after this video, if you want to watch the next one on our YouTube channel, the next one will be covering privacy and lists and how you create these lists and manage them. Um, that way, so whatever you're sharing on Facebook, you know you're sharing it with the specific people that you want to share it with. In the meantime, if you have any questions whatsoever about timeline, social media marketing, Facebook, or if you come across something pretty neat with the new profile, feel free to visit us, facebook.com forward slash talking finger and post up on our wall. Thanks for watching and watch out for the next video.